News. Today, Governor Mike DeWine gave an update on COVID here in the state of Ohio, and he laid out some information that looks positive for restaurant owners. The state's curfew could be changing, and it's all it's up to all of us to make that happen. Our Laura Queso watched the governor's briefing today, and Laura. This all is going to come down to numbers. Yeah, that's right. The state will potentially lift the current 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew if the number of people hospitalized with COVID in the state continues to drop. And we are seeing some great trends in that field. So here we go. The governor announced that Ohio's curfew will be pushed back to 11 p.m. for two weeks if its number of hospitalizations remains below 3,500 for seven consecutive days. DeWine stated that the Buckeye State could meet this threshold as soon as Thursday. That's when he would announce it. By our math, we are actually seeing six days of cases, hospitalizations below 3,500. Now bear with me, it doesn't stop there. Should Ohio manage to remain below 3,000 hospitalizations for seven straight days, its curfew will then be pushed back to 12 a.m. for a two-week period. After that, it keeps getting better. If Ohio can keep its hospitalizations under 2,500 for, again, seven days, the curfew would be lifted altogether. Since it continued to drop, uh, which is good. I mean, we're happy. We're happy about it. Um, what we don't want to do, and we don't want... You know, we also are mindful uh, that people have to plan and the bar owners have to plan and restaurants have to plan and other people have to plan. So we don't want to be jerking them around with no notice. So the goal is to do it uh, two, two weeks. In two weeks, we look at it again. Now, look, we may have, we may jump a whole section in, in, in two weeks. And listen, he says that he's really optimistic about this, something that he says he hopes will happen. One other thing, DeWine says he is planning to get all teachers who want to get vaccinated to get their first dose in the month of February. Earlier, he had said that most teachers uh, would get vaccinated starting February 1st. Again, he says he hopes that all teachers in the state of Ohio can get their first dose in the month of February. Obviously, Betsy, uh, with the hope of kids going back to school March 1st, back in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely kind of the end goal out of all this. And with the orders for new vaccines for the entire country coming out, hopefully we can kind of get everything lined up and organized and get this going because everybody's uh, certainly ready to move beyond it. Laura exactly. Queso, thank you so much for that.